Buenos Aires and uh, Tokyo different. This is in page 23. There are two people that are writing and they're explaining how is their country. I live in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and my pen pal lives in Tokyo, Japan. The time difference is 12 hours. 12 hours difference. Tokyo has one time, Buenos Aires, Argentina has another time. 12 hours difference. So she goes to bed when my first class finishes. And she studies when I'm asleep. We talk on the weekend. I call her on Sunday at nine o'clock in the morning. When it's nine o'clock at night for her. If I'm here, now it is 10.46 in the morning. In the other 12, in another part of the world, 12 hours more, it is 10.46 in the night, p.m. So those are 12 hours difference. Uh, okay. The seasons are different too, seasons. You have spring, summer, um, autumn or fall, and winter. Seasons are different. Because here, some parts of the world, if you're in the North hemis Hemisphere, you have spring in when it starts in the first months of the year. But in Argentina, it is different. When it is summer in the North Hemisphere, in Argentina is winter or it is fall. Okay, so the seasons, seasons are different. Summer starts in December here. Summer in Argentina, it is summer in December. In Japan, it is in June. Summer is in June. So you have the ways you have to read the description and find the differences differences there's two differences between there's more than one difference sorry between buenos aires argentina and japan okay so we have these differences grammar uh, we're talking about when you do things and we're reading the description number one the in what two ways are Buenos Aires and Tokyo different in what two ways are Buenos Aires and Tokyo different so reading the description we have these differences there's 12 hours differences when it's day in Argentina, it is night in Japan. When the boy, when he is in class, she, the, his friend in Japan, she goes to bed. When she goes to school, he is asleep. And the other difference is that summer in Argentina is in December, summer in Japan is in June. Those are the basic differences we have. Okay, so here we go with the simple present for things that are true. Summer starts in December here, so we use it to say true things. The sun shines every day in Panama. That is true. It rains in Panama from May to December. That is true. So those are things that are true, we express it through simple present. Here we have some short rules of when the how the verb changes for um, he, she, it. I, you, we, they, you have have. 
run, kiss, watch, wish, and fix it. And fix, it, sorry. He, she, it changes in a regular verb. Irregular is it has. Regular, normal verb, you just put an S. And the other case is that the verb finishes in SS, CH, SH, or X, we have to put ES. ES, so we have others that we will see in the next class is for those that finish with Y. We have to put IES. We take off the Y and we put IES. But we'll see it in the next class. So for the moment, this is what we've been seeing with simple present. Simple present to express things that are true, things, habits, routines, we're working with that. She goes to school. Here we have an irregular verb. She, he is asleep, the regular verb, has no change. We will read the text and we will look for all simple present examples. 